Hi friends, welcome to the Plain Fun RC channel. I'm your host Saul. We are beginning the build of the Learfan 2100 and to kick it off we're going to go ahead and build the horizontal stabilizers. This build's actually very quick. You have a 1 16th inch sheet of balsa and the ribs just drop right into these slots. So this should be a pretty fast build. So folks, let's go ahead and get started building the Learfan. So you can see here, I went ahead and initially started building the horizontal stabilizer over top of the plans. Normally you would do this to make sure the parts are nice and straight, but because everything interlocked, everything just dropped right into place. So after a while, as you'll see, I don't even build over the plans anymore. I just used them as a reference. It's that great of a kit. So in this part of the video, we're going through, we're actually gluing on the trailing edge. And you'll notice that there are two quarter inch pieces of wood. The quarter inch pieces of wood help to make sure the structure is nice and even. So that way the uh, trailing edge and the leading edge, which is what we're putting on now, uh, are in fact uh, uh, laid on correctly. You'll see those little slots there. Those are hinge pockets. They laser cut those hinge pockets for the robot hinges. And I'll show you in just a second, we're putting on hinge covers. So these are hinge pocket covers and they go through and give the hinges and the glue something to grab hold of when you insert the robot hinge. One of the really great things about this kit is the fact that the uh, skins, the balsa skins that are used to cover, they're all laser cut and they're laser cut to the exact shape of the horizontal stabilizer, which is just fantastic. It's a massive time saver. So what we're doing before we put the skins on, we are shaping the leading edge. And now we're just putting some glue on and putting on our skins, which is really pretty straightforward. So when you're putting on the skins, you're noticing that we're using thick CA on the ribs and medium CA on the trailing edge. You don't put anything on the leading edge. What this does by doing it this way, uh, it gives you the ability to properly center the skins. And then once they're in place, then you just take uh, our sanding bar right there or some type of straight edge, put some weight on the trailing edge and then gradually take it. And you'll see we're actually rolling the structure forward and that helps to glue the structure onto the ribs. And now we're putting some glue on where the sheeting meets the leading edge. And we're using thin CA for that because that works best and allows it to wick and get the best bond possible. So what you're seeing here is we're gluing on the plywood piece to the balsa piece for the elevators. And the plywood piece gives the balsa its stiffness and also creates the trailing edge. Now what we're doing here is we're actually putting on the ribs for the elevator and uh, you can see that we're using tweezers. You're definitely going to want to use tweezers. It makes it a heck of a lot easier. One friendly tip, make sure to use thick CA and not thin. Now what we're doing here is we're adding the leading edge to the elevator. And then after this, we'll go ahead and we'll actually put the sheeting on the elevator. So what you're seeing here is we're adding 
thick CA to the ribs and medium CA to the leading edge. And then once the sheeting is in place, we're adding thin CA to the trailing edge to join it to the sheeting. So these are the end pieces that will get glued to the horizontal stabilizer and then they'll get shaped. Believe it or not folks, I'm actually that fast at sanding. This has not been sped up. Alright friends, the horizontal stabilizer and elevators are done, and now on to the rudder and the vertical stabilizer. So the vertical stabilizer and the rudder are assembled in the same exact fashion. You can see we're just adding the ribs, the leading edge, the trailing edge, and like I said, you don't even need the plans for it. It goes together that quickly. That is the plywood edge, uh, plywood trailing edge that you're seeing here with all the holes, adding the ribs, leading edge. And there are hinge pocket covers right there. And then shortly we'll be adding our sheeting, which is also pre-cut as well. So these are the uh, vertical stabilizer uh, end pieces. They get glued in place and of course they're shaped just like the end pieces for the horizontal stabilizer. Now even though the hinge pockets are laser cut, you're going to want to open them up to 1 8 inch in order to properly fit those robot hinges. All right, friends, our vertical stabilizer and rudder are done, as is our horizontal stabilizer and elevators. So in our next video, we're going to shift our focus to the wings, so there's more to come.